the Mulaski Corporate Center, where hundreds of SNWA employees work each day, joins an elite group of facilities that have achieved LEED Gold certification from the United States Green Building Council. Today we're going to take you on a tour of downtown's greenest structure and show you how sustainable materials like recycled blue jeans help to get this building its golden status. The 285,000 square foot Mulaski Corporate Center sits in the heart of downtown's redevelopment district. To be a leading facility in corporate sustainability, the office tower had to meet rigorous standards required by the Green Building Council. Based on a point system, Mulaski achieved LEED Gold certification in five areas, including sustainable site development, water efficiency, energy efficiency, materials and resource selection, and indoor environmental quality. Um, in this case, the Water Authority, our major anchor tenant, um, as stewards in the environment themselves, put their money where their mouth is and demanded a LEED certified building uh, in their lease negotiations, and we applaud them for that effort and our company decided to take it to another level, or two levels as the case may be, to lead gold. But we did that because we really wanted to set the tone for other large-scale Class A office buildings in the Las Vegas Valley. The Mulaski Center has a sophisticated water conservation system that includes high-efficiency faucets and dual-flush toilets. Water used on site is reclaimed, then reused for the irrigation of the center's drought-tolerant landscaping. About 18,000 gallons is reused each month. The walls are insulated with shredded denim, and the main construction materials include recycled steel and recycled crushed glass found on all the bathroom countertops. Strategically placed windows and low walls throughout the office areas allow for the valley's natural sunlight to brighten the workspace and air to flow more efficiently. This reduces electricity needs, saving both energy and money. The facility was designed to maximize sunlight to interior spaces while minimizing glare and heat. At the same time, the sunlight works in conjunction with electric lights to offer significant energy savings. In all, the Mulaski building uses 30% less energy than its traditional non-green counterparts. Other areas, we consume a lot less power through our cutting edge air conditioning systems, uh, which uh, we don't have to chill the air as cold and it doesn't take as much electricity. And uh, there are other energy saving devices in the building like motion sensors when someone is not occupying a room for a period of time, the lights shut off. The Water Authority has offices on seven floors. Like the rest of the facility, the SNWA boardroom is innovative, harnessing environmental benefits from outdoors with the latest business technology. The Colorado River Room captures sunlight through large picture windows on one side of the room and showcases a Southwest Canyon mural on the other. The dual purpose mural not only welcomes visitors, but also absorbs noise. The operating system of the boardroom features state-of-the-art technology with touch panel displays for voting. The Water Authority has a new electronic voting system. The board members are able to cast their vote on a touch panel, and then it is projected to the audience on overhead screens. In addition to its many green features, the Mulaski Tower has 1,400 parking spaces, brand name retailers, restaurants, and a 24-hour fitness. Art throughout the facility teaches water conservation to the building's visitors. This stainless steel structure on the building's seventh floor entrance signifies the developer's commitment to the environment and community. And so they came up with the idea that they would do this sculpture that sort of represented two drops of water hitting the ground. And it's a very impressive piece. And I think it complements the building and certainly uh, pays homage to the major tenant of the building very well. It moves in the wind and uh, reflects light off the building at night and I just think it's a beautiful, attractive piece of art. Finally, a green building would not be fully sustainable without a recycling program. That's why visitors and employees can find marked containers throughout the building to recycle anything they throw away. Paper, cardboard, plastic, glass and metal, you name it. It's hard not to see why the SNWA views the Mulaski Corporate Center as a perfect fit for its offices the cost-effective amenities, and painstaking attention to sustainability in the building's design align with the SNWA's commitment to be environmentally responsible. Eco-friendly buildings, like the Mulaski Corporate Center, showcase how going green can be a perfect blend of corporate responsibility and a functional, efficient working environment. And that's building a sustainable community that the Water Authority is proud to be a part of. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Bronson Mack.